today we are going to be doing a video on a very important subject. Topic. Science! So the Google Making and Science team asked us if we could study any science topic, what would we, we want to study? So we picked the Northern Lights in oh, yeah. Iceland. Oh yeah. Like what's in Iceland? What's in Iceland? The Northern Lights, glaciers, oh. volcanoes, geothermal mm -hmm. energy, mm -hmm. all of this crazy scientific stuff. Hashtag that I, science, science goals. goals. Iceland is it's cool. Actually, Iceland's really cool. And we had the opportunity to go there and vlog while we were studying the Northern Lights and all the other scientific things there. So, let's go check out that video. Six hours at the airport and then we catch our flight to Iceland. We just flew into New York, so we're kind of chilling here. And we are off on our flight to Iceland. In the red eyes, so we're preparing ourselves now. Yep, we're gonna be flying and landing at like 5 a.m. in Iceland. You see that word? Odd size baggage? Yes. She's gonna pronounce it for us. Darfson, Darfson, Narka, Farka, Nurga. Welcome to the Blue Lagoon, guys. Oh, it is awesome. I'm so <laughs> it's so cold. Guys, is it freezing or what? It's absolutely <laughs> It's cloudy today, so we uh, haven't been able to find any yet. Like, no breaks in the clouds. You can't see them. This is the result of it being like 11.30. <laughs> and we're hunting, it's freezing. The Earth has what is called a magnetosphere, and this magnetosphere surrounds the Earth. And charged particles from the sun flow through this magnetosphere into the Earth's atmosphere at the northern pole and the southern pole. So when they do this, they hit hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms, which excites the atoms. It kind of makes them get excited and scatter. And then when they're done with that, they relax. And when they relax, they let off colored light. So based on how much energy they have, they let off different colors of light. Here we are on a black sand beach. This is like so crazy, because I always see pictures of black sand beaches on Twitter. So now I'm actually living it in real life, so I'm gonna show you all. First of all, Hello. This is a columnar basalt formation which is created by cooling lava, but the Icelandic people will tell you it's created by two nitriles. We have found a crater. Geysers that we went to go see while we were in Iceland. Geysers are created by pressurized water underneath the Earth's crust, and then once they have enough pressure, they explode like this. So we are at a ge geothermal power plant. This is a map of how everything works. Yeah, this is how they get their heated water and their power. So it's really interesting, so we'll show you that. Water from rain and snow seeps into the earth and is heated by the earth's core and then sent up to the surface and turns into steam. This is one of the turbines that generates electricity for the, all everybody in Iceland. Right here. This is where the magic happens. It smells terrible. The geothermal power plants help use that steam to generate and create geothermal energy. They also use the hot water and steam to heat their houses, their roads, and even their soccer fields. The funny thing about Iceland is, yesterday we were in swimsuits, and today we're playing in snow. Yeah! Yeah. All right, so we are currently at a waterfall. It's so cool. It's so cool, but it's probably free. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you don't want to fall in this water, I'll show you. 
It's actually two waterfalls combined. Yeah, it's like two. There's one right it's there. Like what, one of the and then there's one down there. This is waterfall number two of the day. Look at the pretty cliffs surrounding it. I'm gonna drink the water from the waterfall. Oh, it's ice cold. That tastes good. Check it out. 200 and something flights later. Steps no, later. Steps. steps later, not flights. We come to see this. 411. Almost to the top. Let's go. We made it to the top. I'm out of breath. But I'll show you the video. It's a double rainbow. In under 25 minutes, we made it to the very top. And to clarify what exactly it is that we climbed, I'll show you. So, you see these stairs starting here? Walked all the way up. Right here, there's a cliff. Right over here, we went on that. And we climbed all the way up to that. All right, this is night three, and so far no success with northern lights, but we have found a very comfortable spot to gaze at the sky. On the third night, got to see a little bit of the northern lights peeking through the clouds, but this is what it would look like with clear skies. This is a glacier. Oh, the way up there. And you can actually see it. The clouds aren't in the way. But look at that thing. How do you say it? There you go, that's the name. <laughs> that's the name of the glacier up there. Alright, so our trip is over and we are going home. We are back to New York and then we're flying to Dallas. It's science so is actually fun. cool. Yeah, it, like you find something you're interested in and then it's like you want to know everything. So Comment below what your science goals would be. Where do you want to go? What, what do you, you want to study? Like all of that fun stuff. It could be anything. Yeah, because science is fun. If you want to see more of our videos, click the information button right here. And also, don't forget to comment below and give this video a huge thumbs up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and we'll see y'all next week. Bye! Bye.